Hi, I'm Steve Rick and welcome to Tansada TV. Um, thanks for the question, Cal. Um, I'd like to clarify that the, we weren't in the same bath. Um, long afternoons when you're staying up and there's only two of you, so you know you've got to look after your body and look after yourself. That's why you know we're both model pros. Um, funnily enough, Tom, it's probably the green one. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's decent. It, it'll go well with your teeth. Um, it's just one of those things, Elliot. I think when you grow up a bit and you see a bit of the world and you, you, get, you make a few friends and get a few invites, you'll, yeah. you'll understand one day. Uh, Messi for me. Um, he can do it all. He's probably the best passer. Um, and well, he takes on seven or eight people at a time, causes havoc. It's got to be Messi. Um, there's not really a lot to pick from. My green hoodie will be up there, but i um, going to pick one out of the blue. I'm going to go Tom White, really surprised me on the Christmas deal. Yeah, um, both brilliant. Both, you know, like to have a laugh, I like to have fun, keep everything positive. Um, both good in the changing room. Um, you know, everything's always positive, high spirits. And, you know, it, it shows on the pitch. Everyone's fighting for each other. And training's always a high standard. Um, it would probably have to be Chesterfield away, um, just for a number of reasons really. Um, obviously scored a good goal and a few other things off the pitch that, you know, it was just a good day out and they were, they were a good side at the time so, you know, it was a big win for us. Still to this day, it's probably one of the best soups, sauces I've ever had and if that sign didn't go back up I'd have finished the whole lot off. So, you know, I've got to thank Bill for putting the, the sign back up and making us look right, idiot in front of everyone. Um, just an absolute honour, isn't it? Um, it reminds me every day that he is one of the most famous footballers in the league. You know, if I'm ever bored, he's always got a loop story to tell us. Oh, you know, about the time it took Gate Ted to Wembley, single-handedly. Um, so yeah, it's brilliant. Um, probably have to be my debut in the football league. Um, at the heart of the pool. Um, just you know, a big away day. We needed the we needed points, and uh, yeah, just a big moment for me. In, well, in my, in my career so far, anyway. Um, yeah, with Fraser leaving, I mean it's. It's a bit of a miss. Um, you know, wins a lot of he headers. Um, so it might miss him early, but Dev's coming and done well. Same with Scotty and, and Luke. Do you know what I mean? They've both, they both done well and scored goals, so we might miss him. But, you know, I mean, hopefully we can all kick on and chip in a bit more all over the pitch and, you know, stay in the playoffs. Um, yeah, I think Connor's coming and done really well. Um, surprised everyone, to be honest. Um, and you know, he, he adds a bit of a threat in behind and he's putting a few good crosses when he has got out wide, which suits me and obviously set Greg's up today. Um, and same with Cam, came on the other day and made an impact. Um, but just one of those things, we've just got to get on with it, because out of our hands people are leaving, so it is what it is really. Uh, best player I've ever played with, um, and Scott Borden will love this one, it's um, Stephen Dobie. Scored about 3,000 goals a year for Queen's, so it's got to be him. It's absolutely frightening. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Um, it always cracks us up a bit when I get to about seven or eight. <laughs> Seems to be going on for, for, for ages, but no, it's appreciated. Um, yeah, it's just nice to have folks cheering you on. Um, my favourite club I've ever played for, probably yeah, Penrith in the Northern League. Um, similar to here, often thought of as underdogs with a, with a small budget and 
we just had such a good group. Um, uh, stay in touch with a lot of them, and um, they all say the same thing. We had a great season that year. Obviously, ended up with me going to Carlisle. Thanks for watching Tyneside TV.